Hello and welcome back to Wildlife of the Wasteland. As myself and my assistant Piper search for... <gasps> Here it is! One of the most elusive and terrifying prey you will ever find. The Mighty Death Claw. But, thanks to our innate skill with nature and our lovability, we have gained the trust of this particular specimen. Shh, 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 no. shh, shh, shh. Hello there, little one. Oh, oh. Shh, now, oh, oh. Back away. When a, when such behaviour as this is displayed, it, it, it's, it's a bit of territorial behaviour and you don't want to go too near the death guard. Hello, little guy. Hello. Uh, however, the death guard doesn't mind being sighted down. Uh, maybe it does, but I mean, you can get, get a little bit of a look here at its behaviour. I mean, it, it's got rather large claws. It does like to dig in the in the dirt. It primarily eats eats worms. Uh, it's part of its main diet, so why it's friendly with it. Hello, little guy. We will stand up. Oh, hello, little guy. As you can see, Piper here is unafraid as well. We are both coming here to visit this friendly death claw. Um, you can see come bipedal, reptilian, etiel, and and as the name suggests, have claws of death. As you can see right there. Whoa, now you nearly hit my toes. Whoa, now. Also, very big horns and a large snout with um, teeth. And it was nice. Hello. Hello, you. Hello, you little friendly death claw. Are you my friend? Yes, you are. You're a friendly death claw. So, I mean, to me, they've always had a bad rap. And a lot of people will complain about them and say, say horrible things about, oh, they attack you and all that. As you can see, he's actually distributing, as I said, this could be seen as a territorial gesture, but as we've won its trust, this is more of a friendly thing where he's like throwing mud at you. Tick that! And that and that too. <laughs> what a lark. What a lark. Ah! See, he's tasting the air currently now, uh, looking for air worms, uh, uh, digging for worms, sniffing the air for the, the worms of the air. And, and the likes like that. You're a friendly bitch. Yes, yes you are. As, I say, as we say, Piper. Well, uh, Piper's having a look over here. Piper, as you are well aware, that death claws originally were made by the US government before the war. Uh, that's, that's the original war, you know, before I got thought out and introduced this wonderful series to the wasteland. Uh, they were a splice, a wonderful splicing of multiple animals, a true chimera creature. Then forced with the well, forced with the forced evolutionary virus, the same that made the supermans created the death claws. They were to actually replaced normal soldiers in the front line, which would have put me out of work because I used to be a soldier myself. But live and learn, we can't really complain. Let's go visit our friendly death claw again. So as you can see, he has no issue at all with us. Um, he has had an issue with somebody over here because this person here wasn't too keen on it. Nothing stays hidden forever. Well, I'm very glad to hear that, Piper. Let's see what we can find over here. Uh, so there are some wonderful remains here of a Brahmin that he's half eaten. I mean, seriously, he should have finished his food. He should learn these things. Some happy skeletons here as well have obviously come to visit him at his lovely nest. Here, as you can see, uh, we have this lovely nest that they've created using a pile of leaves, skeletal remains, uh, what looks like a five-gallon drum, um, some blood, uh, and a few sticks. We have some broken eggs and apparently a pristine egg here. Um, don't ask me where the pristine egg is. I'm looking and I see only broken ones, but somewhere in that mine there must be a pristine egg growing. As you can see, the Deathclaw is a very friendly chap. Um, I should point out that one of his favourite, favourite things you can do with the Deathclaw is to pet his eggs. He very much enjoys that, as, as you will see. So we will just pet his egg here. And... Oh! Oh! Um... Piper? Well, it's quite clear that Piper upset that Deathclaw quite a bit. And, um... Yes, we're going to go back this way. Uh, we're going to run this way. Run up the hill as fast as we can. Um, okay. <laughs> he's just playing a little game right now. He's, he's not really angry with us. Are you angry with us? Uh, yes. No, no, he's not angry with us at all. Let's uh, jump down here. Uh, stop being angry with us. There he is. See? He's not angry with us at all. Uh, that music is not ominous or anything at all. Um... He's not threatening to kill us for unknown reasons. Um, my touching the nest did not cause this. Piper, on the other hand, I mean, it said Piper just likes this. She, she must have maybe the death boss said something to her that she didn't agree with. I don't know, but 
But it, he wasn't too friendly about it anyway. Uh, should we help our assistance, Piper? I don't know. I don't know if we should. I mean, the Death Claw didn't really deserve it. Are you okay, Piper? Piper? Oh, the Death Claw seems to have gone. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. He looks like he's calmed down again. Um, we will just stand up here and... Oh, well... He seems rather unhappy again. Ah, well... Should we sit... Um... Um... Uh... Piper? Are you alright? Um... We, we, we'll give Piper some assistance at this present moment. Um... As you can see, uh, shooting a Deathclaw in the tail is not the most optimal of, uh, of responses here. Um, he's away somewhere. I, I think we might have frightened him off, which is uh, probably a good thing. Uh, we're going to sneak down here immediately. In fact, I, I think today calls for, um, for some sneaking. Just like so. And it might be a good idea if we were to um, give him back his egg. <laughs> I mean, we, we only brought the little guy out to have a look at him. We weren't taking him to sell or anything like that. It's just not something we would do. Um, where would his egg be? Would a Deathclaw egg be counted as junk? Apparently not. I, I assume it would be counted as aid. I mean, when you're out in the wastes and you need something to eat, why not eat a Deathclaw egg? Um, well, if you don't wear a death claw egg, and you do not use it as a weapon. <laughs> okay. Where the death claw egg? Where are you, death claw egg? Um. Um. Yes. Well. Hmm. I see a lack of death claw egg. Um. Ah, pristine death claw egg. So, we will give him the death claw egg back if it's under pristine. You see. And um, as, as a way to make it up to him, we will leave a parting present of a kitty up buttercup. As, uh, one day that death will hatch, and what better present to have than a giddy up buttercup? I mean, our death claw friend shall be very friendly after this. As you can see, a stealth boy is also very, very useful for when animals get slightly aggravated. Because now we're no longer invisible to them. Uh, Piper should be okay as well. Where's Piper? Has she? Piper? Piper, do you want to wake up? Piper. Get up. Uh, very good, Piper. Uh, let, let's move up here for a minute and see where the death claw has gone. We, we'll, we'll, we shall let it calm down for a wee while. I don't know what you did to that death claw, but I really wish you hadn't have done it, Piper. I mean, it was rather friendly. We were getting on right famously, and you antagonized it. Um, ah! And the death claw does not like us. Um, run away time. No. We just we give you a giddy up buttercup. Why why would you do this? Why do you hit us so? Help! Help! So. Oh dear! Oh! Ah! Uh, sometimes the best way to deal with a. Angry animal is to shoot it in the face. And crit it right in the face. As it slices you with its mighty claws. Uh, we will we'll run away. Again. It's slightly faster than we are, but we're going to run away. In the hopes that we can use vats against it. Uh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, well. Uh, this might be a goodbye for me today. Um. Oh, it's not a goodbye for me. Thank God for that. Um, yes. Hmm. We, we should possibly heal, but th that would be very unsportsmanlike. I mean, Piper, do you want to help us instead of hiding? As you're hiding right at this moment. Um, Piper? Piper? Where's your assistance, Piper? Ah. Well, here comes our friend now. Oh, uh, a friendly Marlark. A Marlark has come. A kill claw. Excellent. Well, with our assistance from our Marlark friend, um, the Death Claws, you see, did not have a chance against that. Uh, multiple Marlarks. Uh, but that's that's a story for another time. Let us let's let Piper deal with the Marlark. Uh, we will quickly run over here to and inspect the friendly Death Claw. Oh Jesus. Um, well, 
with this minor setback, we shall uh, we shall return very soon after I've healed up from the Marlurk, the Marlurk assault. Um, don't don't mind the fact that we're back here. This is just a loop on the tape, which I'm now voicing over. It's not that we just reloaded to a point that um, none of this actually happened because this is real life. This is real life in the wasteland. There are no do-overs. So remember, if you are going to meet a friendly Deathclaw, do not. Do not let Piper upset it. I mean, we came to give it a present. There was a baby there. We gave it a giddy-up buttercup. I don't know if the paint colour was wrong, or if it was slightly rusted, but the Mother Deathclaw was not was not a fan. Uh, we had been getting on famously. Guys, next day, as you are in the wasteland, please do remember to stay safe out there, and we shall see you next time on another exciting adventure into the wildlife of the wasteland.